Greetings, salutations, folks. I hope your day's going better than mine. Uh, while setting up, I just spent 10 minutes looking for the hair elastic around my wrist. So, yeah, you know, that's just, that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, today, what you can kind of see in the shadows and such is a 71 Telecaster that apparently decided, you know, since the last time I played it, to go into a backbow situation. Uh, yeah, not a lot, but enough. Because when you have no action really to start with, when it goes into the back bow, well, your action became subterranean, basically. So that doesn't work. So let's do an intro and then I'll move the camera while the intro's playing. Honest, that's how it works. Yeah. Hit it, producer. <laughs> Just like that, you know, intros happen. I'm almost thinking, you know, if I had a different gauge string, well, there's tens, but they're boomers. But uh, I was thinking, you know, if I throw a set of 11s on her, that'll, you know, in theory, help with the back bow, you know, because more string tension, but, you know, physics is what I'm saying, folks, physics. So I'm going to quickly get these strings off. If this decides, this is just, it's, it's all, that's because this is all, it's older than some of my viewers, probably. Not a lot of them, but some of them. Let's go to mine, that's about three or four years newer. In other words, I bought it when I first started playing. So, uh, I'm going to get the strings off, and because Leo Fender decided, you know, mazel, make it hard, uh, it's got one of those adjustments here, but it's not where you can just put an Allen key in. So we got to take the neck off. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, take the strings off, and then unscrew four neck bolts because, well, I'm sure you guys can figure that part out on your own at home. It involves a screwdriver and lefty loosey, as opposed to righty tighty. That's what you do when you put it back on. So stand by. All right, I'm currently unscrewing, so I thought, hey, we'll bring you in on the experience. Uh, do not like the amount of creaking and cracking I heard when I first busted these loose. Like, I, I didn't put the neck on the last time. I was Richie. He must have used all the torque. So, I don't know. Should I see wood fibers on them? No. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Turns out I noticed the G-string, which the tuners always kind of suck balls on this thing, and I need new tuners. But uh, the G-string tuner shaft is actually slightly curved. Oh, that that's that's clean. That that that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there was there was never anything spilled on this guitar. No, 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 no. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Can we read that stamp in there? Not really. What does that say? That's upside down. Playa? No. A-Y-A-L-A. -A -A, maybe something in front of it. That's all over the place. Some kind of... I don't know if that's paint. Or what? wonder what that's for. Why do you have a hole going through there? See, what, what, what's that hole for? Comment down below if you know what that hole's for. Some kind of ground to the neck? I, I don't understand. I, I don't. I, I'm shrugging. Where am I going to put this? I don't know. I'll pause the movie. No, I won't. I'll just put it right there. All right, are you? That, that, those are load-bearing paper towels now. All right, what do we got here? Something K-R-A-U-S-F-E-L-D-Y. I don't know, but like Australia? Which makes 
some sense because the case that I got with this was an Australian exclusive flight case. So maybe this was originally shipped to Australia. I don't, I don't know. But uh, as you can see, this is already out very proud. So uh, that's what you call sticking out proud. Um, how much back bow is in it now? All the back bow. Now that we have no string tension. Oh, noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's actually get. There we go. Yeah, still a back bow. Okay. Let's see if we got any any room left. On, you see, it looks like you can put a Phillips in there, but I've never seen anyone use a Phillips. They always use a large slot. So. Let's uh, scratch my nose, bash the headstock, sure, and uh, see what we got. Oh, there's like, there's nothing there. That's not even engaged. There's like, oh, see, now it's engaged. So that, that wasn't engaged at all already. And, you know, I'm guessing since it's 1971, this is not going to go back the other way. Nope. Nope. Well, that, that, so why does this feel mag, oh, this is probably magnetic. I was like, why is this magnetic? And then I realized this is probably the magnetic part. All right. Well, that, uh. Is this a candidate for a heat press? Because that's beyond my abilities. All right. Maybe what will... Well, I guess what you used to do back in the day for something like that, if you couldn't afford yourself a new neck, is uh, heavier gauge strings and see if it'll just bring it around by pulling on it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, definitely a backbone. Let's grab this, just for giggles. I'm just gonna just back this right out. Yeah, that's like off, I think. <laughs> That's uh that that that's off. And yeah, we still have a slick back bow. That's what I thought. So how are we gonna fix that? Well we could get another vintage neck. That's not cheap. Or we just put any neck on it, and you keep this neck with the guitar, right? That's okay. This guitar was a gift. Cousin Brad. He said it needed work. I have a tendency to believe him. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, since i got to go out and get some grub screws at the fastenal at some point, um... I shall pick up some heavier gauge strings to put on this, all Evans, if you will. That'll be fun with the brass nut that's set up for nines. Well, good thing we got all these files, and then we got all these files. So if we put all these files together, and just throw it at it. We'll see what happens. So, all right. Well, it's two weeks in a row of zero accomplished. Right. Um, speaking of which, updates. Just throw it in while we're at it. Uh, grub screws are going to get done. Got busy this week. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This, um, th well, actually, that. This doesn't have a ground issue. That has a bit of a ground issue. So, I have some wire on the way to fix that. So that's going to be in a video. That'll be fun. Uh, along with the volume pot for the Kramer project and project. 
It's being buffed again. I'm wet sanded again. Issues. We had a bad batch of paint. Sounds like um, reports coming in. Um, is that, yeah, bad paint. Can we get the batteries out and talk while we wrap this up without? Yeah, perfect. There we go. And then uh, some ground. You know, we do have another telly neck up on the shelf. The problem is it's got no holes drilled in back in here and I am not confident in doing that. I'm waiting for Travis to get into the area so we can do projects like that and projects. Got the tools, don't have the ability. On that note, I've been Ben. I guess you've been you. And I guess it's more of the same with this channel, why don't you? Fine, let's just put more parts in the dish. I think, Brad, we might need another dish at this point. She's getting full, is what I'm saying. And uh, maybe we can complete one of these deals one of these days. Probably not. And uh, who, I, what's that over there? No, nope. I don't know. So I gotta do some tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow to get the grub screws and stuff. So maybe we can get a head start on next week's videos. That would be nice for once. <laughs> not gonna happen. All right, peace, folks. If you're new, please subscribe. Cheers, rock on. Be good to each other. Happy tone chasing. Yeah.